Okay, I remembered my thought. So, the native air elder in Las Vegas, we were talking about when you're connecting with someone and um, how nowadays society and my generation, it's all about the fix. It's all about the, the quickie. Um, um, getting off and just uh, people are not connecting in spirit and mind first. They're going straight to body. And that's a big no-no. But our society doesn't teach that. Our society says go right to the body. I mean, look at our advertisements. Look everywhere you look. There's some woman plastered with breast and half of her butt hanging out. You know, and unfortunately, yeah, that gets people to buy things. Not me. I'm sending love and respect to the women. And I'm praying. And things are changing how we're doing things. But anyways. So if men and women were to connect more in spirit first, to make love in spirit and in mind and connect those centers before going straight to the, the bed, that's why usually you don't have sex before marriage because you're connecting spirit and mind and you're working all that out. And then on that one glorious evening or night, honeymoon, you make love finally with the body. So that was beautiful. And in my past experiences with my connections with people, uh, we clicked, but I wasn't really into spirit and mind. I hadn't really discovered mind and spirit. All I discovered is the sexual parts, you know, from a young age even. Because that's all you see everywhere. I grew up on the bus, the kids in the back already talking about it, seeing a magazine in a, in a um, uh, closet uh, in Mississippi, and one of my mom's boyfriends. Uh, seeing these porn magazines, you you would see it everywhere. Did I see anything about a beautiful mind, about a beautiful heart, connecting and beauty and all that love? No. No, no, no. So Logie, little Logie had to get tainted with these things and these thoughts and that, you know, later manifest down there and you can't, you can't move out of that mindset. So thank God I have taken control over that animal down there. And um, I've learned to connect, even with my current love of now. I've learned to connect with him in spirit and in mind. And we're not together every day anymore because I'm on a journey of a lifetime. But we are connected, we are together, and we have a future. But now we're making love in so many different ways. So many beautiful different ways within the mind, within the spirit. And it's pretty wild. And I almost don't want to make love with him in the physical because uh, I already know that. I already know that, you know, but actually I don't know. See, it's all changing. It's all changing because as I heal and as he heals and we heal, the love is even greater and greater. So I really felt and resonated with the Native American ladies teaching about connecting with somebody in their mind, in their spirit first, and then making best moment in life um, happened in that one evening of love and just I don't know it just made sense to really treat that as a sacred atonement to love and to uh, if you want to create and bring more life into the earth that's what it's meant for it's not meant to abuse but we do, like everything else, but we're playing, changing, and learning. I love you, Logan. I love you, Earth Heart. I send love to Mother Gaia. Peace be with all, all my relations. <laughs>